constituted by events. Yeah, because he's because he's saying that time is constituted by events. Uh, he then makes a point on page 19 here that the way that in traditional African life, the way that time is discussed, the way that life is discussed, the way that life is marked out and kind of tracked and considered is according to um, natural phenomena, mainly. So, for example, this is him writing, for example, the rising of the sun is an event which is recognized by the whole community. It does not matter, therefore, whether the sun rises at 5 a.m. or 7 a.m., so long as it rises. When a person says that he will meet another at sunrise, it doesn't matter whether the meeting takes place at 5 a.m. or 7 a.m., so long as it is during the general period of sunrise. Likewise, it doesn't matter whether people go to bed at 9 a.m. or 12 midnight, the important thing to recognize the important thing is the event of going to bed and it is immaterial whether in one night this takes place at 10 p.m while in another night it is at midnight for the people people concerned time is meaningful at the point of the event and not at the mathematical moment and i really like that because you're starting to get into the you're starting to get into the um black people time thing <laughs> basically you'll start beginning to kind of lean into that and like we cheapen it and we ridicule this idea of black people time now oh, we're always late black people are always late they'll just be there when they're there and so forth and i've done it before we, you, you know you because here we go this because of the societies that we live in western in the west or westernized kind of enclaves in the rest of the world uh, we have got this understanding of time as being this rigid Thing. So it's the whole, the whole idea of. Um, I think Isaac Newton was the guy who, who sort of put forward this idea of time as being like this river that just runs along there, and like we're just here. Like time is just there. This abstract entity called time, which is just you know plodding along, and like the Swiss and the Germans have got these watches that absolutely measure perfectly this passing of this thing called time that's linear. This linear, yeah. Paul Morris, I'll come to that comment in a sec. Yeah, this linear concept of time that it's just there and it's just going. And our job as humans is like, okay, hello. You know, the line of the line of time is here, and us as humans, we're trying to like, oh, we got got to stay on top of it. Keep try and keep with time because time is going to leave us alone. You know, time will pass you by if you're not careful. You know, time is just there like a river. Let's just say the, the, the river of time. Mm -hmm. 